vast waters of the Caribbean are now ground zero, where over the past three years, cocaine seizures have more than tripled. I'm so happy to learn that in the state of Missouri, there's a soul brother there who is finally being released from their clutches, who was accused 43 years ago of a triple murder he did not commit. He was falsely convicted. And as that time went on, it was even admit by the prosecutor's office that this brother was an innocent person sitting in prison. An innocent person who has now lost 43 years of his life and his health has gone really bad. And so even the prosecutor suggests that this brother be released. But the devils, these beasts, these politicians of the state of Missouri, the, these governors and, and attorney general, they refuse. At least the man's life is gone. You would think there would be some type of compassion or mercy. And you know that this man is innocent, has always been innocent. And they put out their hand to hinder the process to release this brother so that the days that he have left on this planet, at least he can enjoy those days in some kind of dignity. But of course, as we know, uh, dealing with a bunch of you know, these races, and just like in my case, they fought tooth and nail, but I'm so happy to say and learn that Kevin Strickland, brother accused of a triple murder 43 years ago, or he has served 43 years, an innocent person, finally, he is being released. And that is good. And I applaud anybody and all those who work to make this possible for this innocent man. I applaud. I want us to applaud the effort. <laughs> the sad thing about it is I can almost guarantee you there was no pro-black people involved in the brother's release or crying or fighting for this man to be released. I can guarantee you the only ones who fought for this man to be released was nothing but white folks, Caucasian people. I can guarantee you. But these pro-blackity black, black, Afri pan-African, black, I'm so black, you never see them around. Matter of fact, the, the thing about them is if they cannot use you, they're not really interested. So this brother is locked up. It takes a lot of work, might take a lot of money and time, and you know, it's, not, it's not worth it. So you know, who cares? Now, they will sell you some Bibles and some Korans or something and might bring you a bean pie now. They're not interested in brothers and sisters in nursing homes or locked up. They don't, you know, these folks, you don't even hear them talk about. <laughs> well, let me get, let me not get off. I, I, I'm going to say that for another time.
But this is the state of Missouri. This is the normal behavior of the state of Missouri. I am a victim. And there are some silly, silly ass people on YouTube. Again, they so pro blackity black. How could you be locked up for 10 years and you wasn't guilty? See, they always talk about the white man is a liar, the white man is a deceiver, and the white man is so evil. But when they don't like you, they believe everything the white man says. Ain't that something? They repeat everything that these racists say. Everything, verbatim, word by word. These are the ones so blackity black and white people lie. Ugh, it's just sickening. So the question would be raised, why was this man who was found to be innocent, why was he locked up for 43 years? He must be guilty he was locked up for 43 years. Using their logic. Oh, these, who they so sick and stay the hell away from me. And one of the worst counties in Missouri is this one right here, Franklin County. A few years ago, there was a warning, I believe, by the Urban League, NAACP. There was a warning to soul brothers and sisters. There was a warning to black people. Do not, if you have to, do not travel through or visit the state of Missouri. You're going to have problems. That's how bad it was. And nothing has changed. It's just not getting, of course, the media attention. Nothing has changed. But there was a warning by the NAACP, Urban League, one of those organizations. If you're black, if you're a soul brother and sister, Enter Missouri at your own risk, okay? <laughs> now, this is what they do to us who live there, who live in Missouri. I know I've seen it myself. They set up speed traps and DUI stops in places the majority of the population they know going to be brothers and sisters, soul people, black folks. They do this on purpose. I took a friend of mine, an associate of mine, who got a ticket, and we went to the uh, to pay the ticket and, and whatever. It's all about money. They racist, but they love money too. This is all about getting some money. Nothing but black folks. The line went all the way around the courthouse and stuff. I'm like, wow. I know I sat there one day and just watch nothing but black folks, brothers and sisters getting pulled over. Now, if you go to the more wider side of town, those people actually be speeding and doing all kinds of crazy stuff out there. But you do not see them pulled over like they do brothers and sisters. So the Urban League issued out a warning because our people, soul brothers and sisters, just traveling through the state of Missouri, you could get pulled over and harassed. And they are racist, but again, it's, it's about money, getting some free money. Not only can I, can I harass you because of your skin color, but I'm going to make some money off of you too because... Chances are you're going to pay this ticket. You're, you're out of state. You're not going to try to fight this ticket. It costs too much. You're going to give me my money and go on about your Negro way. That's the way they look at it. That's how it does. Now, again, those stupid ass people out there in YouTube land. The brother was innocent. He must be guilty. He was there for 43 years. Oh, Angel Snub Nub 7 is guilty. He was locked up for 10 years. Because cause I'm guilty. Y'all believe <laughs> believe everything the pecker would say. I was stalking. I just, I just put or made a video showing the document 
where I won a three thousand over three thousand dollar judgment against this so-called alleged victim. How many, how many criminals win judgments against their victims? Let let that let that marinate. So I'm the criminal, I'm the stalker. The victim owes me three thousand over three thousand dollars. If this victim is so is such a good citizen and want to obey the law, you lost a a, a lawsuit. Where's my bag? Where's my money? Also, it defeats, it destroys the argument that I'm delusional because they're saying, oh, he didn't do that. He's a goody two-shoe guy. You're just jealous of him and you stalking him for whatever reason. He's just a good guy, a good thief, a good liar. A court determined that this man owed me $3,000. How many criminals were... The criminal can sue the victim and win and got a judgment against it. Don't see the whole thing don't even make any sense. But see, these people are stupid. They believe this man's lies. They didn't try to investigate a damn thing. They made a move on me. And instead of just saying we made a mistake, oh, we're just going to make him crazy. We're going to force him to submit to our lie. That's why it took 10 years. To clear my name and get myself out of that situation. That's the reason why. Because you're dealing with liars. This brother spent 43 years in prison because of liars. I spent 10 years locked up because I refused to take their ragged ass drugs that I don't need. And accept their lie. And even if I did take the drugs. Even if I did say... Yeah, well, okay, I, 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 I'm a stalker. I did it. I still don't get my freedom. I'm on conditional release. I'm on parole. No, I don't, I don't want that. I want my freedom, the same freedom I had when all this started. That's what I want when I leave. And that's what I got. It took 10 years, but that's what I got. I had no criminal history before these lies and I still don't have no criminal history. Nowhere. I don't have a traffic ticket. In order to be a criminal, you have to have a pattern of behavior, a criminal record. I don't have no criminal record. I don't have a pattern of behavior, violence, or anything. But, you know, these old Oreo cookie, like they say, these coon Negroes. And I guess they would know about a coon and a Sambo and an Uncle Tom because that's what they are. It takes one to know one. So I guess they would know these things because that's exactly who and what they are. I issue a warning. Travel to the state of Missouri. At your own risk. Be careful. Matter of fact, nothing has changed. I would suggest that you stop living in this fantasy world. And you better watch yourself all over this country. Not only the state of Missouri. But these races are more covert. They use their uh, the fact that they are a judge or a teacher or a police officer or a fireman. Or work at a bank. They use these things. Nothing has changed. I suggest to us. To get on board the Soul Train. And support Operation Exodus Mississippi. And make it a reality. If you truly want to change your condition. And get out of this once and for all. That's what we need to do. I applaud the brother. I'm so happy to see Kevin Strickland. Is finally released. Enjoy your life.